Uh, I will allow you, uh, Mayor Scott, if you choose to do so, to respond to the tomfoolery uh, and attacks on you for having the nerve to be black and also a mayor. Well, I think, listen, uh, uh, I know and we all know and you know very well that black men and young black men in particular have been the boogeyman for those who are racist and think that only uh, uh, straight, wealthy white men should have a saying anything. We've been the boogeyman from them since the first day they brought us to this country. And what they mean by DI, in my opinion, is duly elected incumbent. Uh, we know what they want to say, uh, but they don't have the courage to say the N-word. And the fact that I don't uh, believe in their uh, untruthful and wrong ideology, and I am very proud, proud of my heritage and who I am and where I come from, scares them. Uh, because me being at my position means that their way of thinking, their way of life of being comfortable and suffering and while everyone else suffers is going to be at risk. And they should be afraid because that's my purpose in life. Well said, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott on with Joy Reid of MSNBC there. He actually had to address this foolishness, okay? Um, after a cargo ship that rammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, March 26, and caused its collapse, internet trolls took to X. They took the opportunity to spout racist rhetoric against the city's black mayor. And this young mayor was having none of it. Many racist internet trolls blamed the bridge collapse on DEI, woke ideology. Several ex-users also condemned Mayor Scott for wearing a Letterman jacket with the city of Baltimore logo while speaking to the press about the tragedy at an early morning press conference, implying that he wasn't dressed properly. So let's stop. Let's just stop right here, okay? You get the call, a famed bridge where hundreds of thousands, a million, they'll get me the number every year, use it. Major port here, moving goods, and oh yeah, people are missing. Families may or may not know, and it's not gonna work out for some of them. And you're worried about this mayor wearing a jacket with, I'll call it the crest of a city on it. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Quickly, Jackson, I need you to react to that. Uh, well, you know, it, what Fox News, I remember the other day I was talking about Maria Bartiromo because she, you know, brought this down to like immigration, but it doesn't matter what it is. If it could be an economic issue, it could be something to do with the health insurance industry. It's always gonna boil back to there's too many brown people in the country taking our jobs away from us taking away our health care, taking away our benefits. You know, people who live in Idaho, North Dakota are always concerned about these things. Because at the end of the day, what happened in Baltimore, I, that's just like a freak accident. Like things like that happen sometimes, not often, but stuff like that happens because of human error. If the mayor of uh, this city was white, uh, what what would that what difference would that have made? It, 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 you know, it, it's kind of like a tornado hitting, a hurricane hitting. Could this have been prevented? I'm sure it uh, could have been prevented. Well, you, I, you're I just, you're trying to make sense. Yeah, you, you're you're asking the question: If the mayor was white, would this accident have happened? Of course, it, it could have, would have. Okay, the as you said, things happen. But I can tell you one. You asked what would have been the difference. I can tell you one difference if you'll have me. Yes. The difference would be he wouldn't have been called the DEI mayor. Yeah. He would not have probably been called a drug dealer. And trash. And I think we can agree on that, but let's just put it up there, okay? White and delightsome. Yes, look at this. Probably <laughs> smoked a blunt after the press conference. Wow. Okay. Aren't you wonderful? P977, triple seven. No wonder the crime rate is through the roof. He's a drug dealer. <laughs> no wonder the crime is through the roof. Okay, we'll we'll get you. The information, the real information on what's going on in Baltimore. It's a sin, says MAGA for life. I can barely understand a word he said. Shut up. Yeah, right. Yeah. Did, okay. did you hear that? Did you understand that? He speaks more okay. clear than me. That's right. <laughs> he is terrific. He's a communicator, no matter your politics. So we'll tell you several ex users. Boy, they had a lot of fun. 
push back against the trolls. One noted that racism is so ingrained in the views of conservatives that they blame black people and other minorities for society's problems. Quote, their obsession with DEI is nothing more than a euphemism for their white victimhood. Added another, a bridge collapsed and racism reared its ugly head. My God, this world is nasty and vile, echoed another. Another replied, DEI is now a racial slur. That's just right. What have we learned? The word is less important than the intention behind it. As a result, white people will always find a new way to call us DEIs and a black star with that. And I think, you know, DEIs is, well, it's another word. It's another word. One user posted a diagram with the N word along with the word CRT, critical race theory, woke, and DEI, and claimed N controlled the political cycle. This is a dissertation there. So it's a shame, Jackson, that out of the gate, we have to get your commentary on this one. But we must, because I look at racist as first and foremost, stupid. And that's not to say that everyone who's a racist is stupid. Some people have been indoctrinated, they believe certain things, but it's stupid. This, I don't know how we can even get around it. People are missing, people are dead. There's been this freak accident, and you want to call the mayor of Baltimore, this black man, trying to lead a city through this crisis, a drug dealer. Your turn. Well, it's not its not just stupid, but especially at this level, it's childish. It's really pathetic. You know, if it didn't have real world negative consequences, you could just laugh at it because it's so ridiculous. Um, and unfortunately, these are the people who will go to the polls with this type of stuff instead of voting for their wages, instead of voting for things that they do care about. Again, it always goes to, you know, blame the immigrants or the black people who were causing all the crime in their minds. Um, but yeah, the, the, this is why MAGA is so strong, even though Trump is, uh, you know, Rifting his uh, audience again with uh, going public with true social, all these indictments that he has, it doesn't matter. The cultural representation of the right in this country is that, you know, we, we got to stop the browning effect. And that's pretty much as deep as it goes. That's it. It's just racism. Yeah. Um, but I just feel like it's the dumbing down of even racism. Look how dumb it is. Yeah. Like, can we get, I, we're actually talking about this. And there's actually people commenting on it. And people who believe this, there are some who say, and I think Joy Reid had him on appropriately, and I think he addressed it well. But there's some who say, why don't we just ignore these idiots? I want your take on that first, then I'll give mine. Um, well, you can only ignore this up to a certain degree. I think that, you know, like realistically, you could talk about it a bit less. Uh, but, you know, that doesn't take away the fact that people are discussing it on Twitter. That doesn't take away the fact that people are congregating by the hundreds, if not thousands, uh, in online spaces uh, to push forth this type of rhetoric. So I think that at the end of the day, you kind of have to talk about it because it has real world impact. Uh, people get hurt over this. Policies get passed over this type of cultural attitude as well. Um, so it's kind of like ignoring a disease, ignoring the virus or the cancer won't make it go away type of deal. Yeah. Um, there's always a different way to address things, perhaps, but pretending like something isn't there doesn't mean it isn't. Yeah, as much as I like to just ignore people who I deem irrelevant, it's actually a character flaw of mine. <laughs> Once I size you up, and I'm this is going to sound strange, but I'm never wrong. I'm not wrong. And once I see you, if I deem you to be someone who is not credible and is up to no good, I have a way of just looking right through you. <laughs> you got to learn to get along with everybody, Jackson. That's why I called it a character flaw, but I couldn't agree with you more. Cannot ignore what's in front of us because there's actually our fellow Americans and across the pond too who believe this nonsense. They actually believe this as if what it does is it presents as if white majority, and that's what we're apparently going to keep calling them, even though their census might tell us otherwise. A white majority can do no wrong, is born superior, okay? 
And so when they screw up, that's why you hear excuses, right? That's, that's why you hear, oh, mass shooter, mental health. But when we do, it's expected because we're just not good enough. It has nothing to do with opportunity and access. It has to do with birthright. Am I right or wrong? 100%. I mean, that even goes into things like uh, access to abortion, um, different attitudes on who gets it and why they get it. Um, you know, I mean, th this permeates pretty much to any type of policy issue that you can imagine. First comes culture, then comes policies. That's something Dr. Richie says all the time, but it's <laughs> true. Yep. Um, it, it's, yeah, it, it, anywhere you look at it in the political spectrum, you see what you just explained, basically entitlement. It, it's just entitlement. Entitlement and, is a hell of entitlement, a drug. Entitlement to consideration, I would say. That would be a good, a good way to, a uh, final way to pin it down. I think you're right.